Hello, hello. This is cybersecurity expert Reginald Andre, and we are day nine of Cybersecurity Month, where we're going to be going live for 31 days in October to talk about cybersecurity. So, as you can see, I am not in my normal place. I am actually traveling, and this message is for all the business travelers that are putting my stuff down here and making sure I keep my mask on. So if you're a business traveler, you're gonna to wanna to listen to this video because I'm gonna be talking about how to make sure that when you're traveling and you need to connect to Wi-Fi while you're either um, traveling for business or you're traveling for pleasure, cybersecurity experts are now, are now saying that you have to be careful when you're trying to connect to these Wi-Fi systems because cyber criminals are actually thinking of how to get into your data while you're traveling. So as you look around now, you're gonna see a lot of people here, and then as you see over there, you see a lot of people actually on their laptops. And cyber criminals have figured out easy ways to trick you into thinking that you're actually on the airport's Wi-Fi, but really you're connecting to their Wi-Fi, and now what's happening is when you connect to their Wi-Fi, they're actually gonna be stealing all of your data, all of the transactions that you're doing on that, on that laptop or on your phone, so here are a few things that you can do to make sure that when you're traveling on business trips, personal, and you're in an airport, what to do. So the first thing is, if you can stay on your, your um, what is called the cell phone, your cell phone um, satellite signal, I would highly recommend don't connect to the airport's Wi-Fi if you don't have to. So for example, I have Verizon and I've been in this airport uh, probably for the last two hours and I've walked around and I've had actually pretty good signal. So there was no reason for me to go on the Wi-Fi. Now for my laptop, for example, that's gonna be a different story. Obviously the Wi-Fi doesn't have a satellite signal. So there is something on your phones that is called hotspot. Uh, back in the days, they used to also call it tethering. And what that allows you to do is to use the satellite signal that's on your phone, the 4G, the LTE that's on your phone and it allows you to then convert that into Wi-Fi so that your devices like an iPad or your laptop can actually connect to that. So the first tip is that if you're traveling, if you have to go on Wi-Fi, you're gonna wanna use the hotspot that's available on your phone. Now you're gonna need to check with your carrier because depending on your plan, you may not have that, you may have to pay extra, but for most business packages, that's actually included. Now, let's just say in the event you don't have that plan and now you need to uh, connect to the, air, the airport's Wi-Fi, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna ask an employee, ask an airline employee, hey, what is the Wi-Fi name? You wanna be sure that you connect to the, the, the correct Wi-Fi because what cyber criminals are doing is they're actually creating uh, different, uh, what they call SSIDs or different wireless names that makes it appealing and hoping that you connect to there. And it's kind of the same thing like a phishing attempt. What's gonna happen is when you connect to it, they're gonna to wanna to say, okay, you wanna to connect to our Wi-Fi. What's your uh, Microsoft username and password? What's your Google username and password? Log into your Facebook username and passwords. And those are just ways for them to get information from you. So uh, ask the airline, uh, what is the Wi-Fi? Then from there, you're gonna to want to connect to it. If they ask you any personal information, if they're asking you for passwords, if they're asking you for a uh, date of birth or anything like that, don't do it because it could possibly be a scam. So tomorrow I'm going to be talking about how to protect your systems when you're in a hotel. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this page so that you can get the little ding that comes up when we go live. And tomorrow we'll be talking about when traveling on the hotels, how to keep your system secure. And as a reminder for October 31 days, I'll be going live to talk about real life scenarios, things that you can take to your office tomorrow to be able to uh, let your bosses know and let your employees know, hey, look, Cybersecurity Month. It's, it, we have to make sure that our, our employees that are traveling stay safe because if a, if a hacker can get into your system and um, in an easy way like this at an airport, it's like you secured your office, you secured the computers, but then you forgot about what happens when they travel. So I'll see you tomorrow um, at a hotel to tell you about how to protect your, your, your systems at a hotel. Bye-bye.